Hi, I'm Logan. And I'm Robert. Today we're going to talk about rinse out and winterization of the 4 Series sprayers. So we want to rinse out our sprayer before we can winterize it. To do that properly, first we should remove our strainers. We have our main strainer, our one going to the boom, and then we have the ones at the back of the boom at the Y manifold. Once those are cleaned out, you want to put a tank neutralizer in your solution tank. Have your strainers reinstalled and we're going to fill our rinse tank. So I'm going to show you how to put the solution into the solution tank using side fill. We will be pushing on using a nurse pump. First you will connect your tender truck to our side fill valve. You will push the button on the lower right hand of the keypad that opens the uh, valve on the bottom of the solution tank. Manually open your valves on the sprayer and off of your nurse tank. And then using the pump, we will push the product through our main solution strainer. Goes up to the set of T valves. Goes to the solution pump into the bottom of the tank. While it is doing that, it also deadheads against the eductor rinse valve and will also deadhead going out to your individual section valves. On the machine itself, I can show you the same thing we just saw on the display. This will be our manually open valve going into our solution system. Our main tank strainer is right behind it. This would be our keypad with our button we want to push to open that valve on the bottom of the tank. Underneath the machine, this is our main solution valve. Our solution comes in here, it's to our solution pump, and it actually just goes straight up into the bottom of the tank. This is our front fill set up on the four series sprayers. We've got the main valve turning on and off. We also have an air valve where when you pump on or pull on your product, you can blow it into your tank so that you don't have line or fluid sitting in your front fill line. We have our sump switch here that we can go one click to the middle, opens the sump, and then you can pump on with a nurse pump, or we can hold this switch up and it'll it's a dead man switch for the pump so that it'll pull on from your trailer if you don't have a nurse pump. This is the automated uh, valve for the front fill that will actually open up to allow you to pump on your product into the solution tank. When you hold the dead man switch, it will open this valve and also this valve, and then it'll kick your pump in to help pull on solution. Also, this valve is also opened when you use a nurse pump to pump on from your trailer. When pulling on solution with the sprayer pump, we want to push this button down here which will show that our valve is on and we can also select the severity or speed of the pump here with three different settings with this button. And this button to slow it down. When pulling on, this will show your pump RPM and it'll also show how many gallon are in your tank as you're filling. And when you reach your desired gallons, just push that button, shuts the pump off and the valve, and you're ready to go. Since we're on the topic of filling the machine, we can also use a target fill setup, and then we can use the keypad here. So it's got, we want to set this to a thousand. So we go one, zero, 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 and that sets our target fill. So it'll only pull on a thousand gallon and it'll shut the pump off. This stainless steel rod and ball is our float for our target fill. When that ball comes up to where it supposedly reaches a thousand gallon, it'll shut the pump off. Once we have solution into our rinse tank, we can come here to our monitor. So to perform our rinse, we push our rinse button. We can choose our level of rinse, boom only, solution system, including the boom, solution tank only, and this one just transfers the product from the rinse tank to the solution tank. We want to do a full system rinse. It'll walk through all of the steps 
when it gets here to the adductor, it will open all of the automated valves that are behind this panel. But when it to, comes to the adductor, you have to manually turn these valves. It will also go through your agitation nozzles and the rinse nozzles in the top of the tank. And then you can spray it out the boom. Another important thing to do during your rinse is to make sure you cycle all of your hand operated valves. Make sure you're cleaning on both sides of them. High flow, orifice, and your boom valve itself. After you've rinsed the whole system and flushed everything out of the boom, it's a good idea to go through and do an air purge to clean out your booms so it doesn't take near as much winterizer to go through the system. When we go to rinse the wet boom here, we wanna go through and shut off all of our nozzle bodies to where we have one nozzle pointing up, nothing pointing straight down. We wanna leave the nozzle at the very end of each section open so that we can push, if we have any atrazine laying in the tube, we can push it out this tube also. Recommend removing the nozzles so that it flushes faster and doesn't uh, keep the atrazine in the tube. When you're done flushing each section at a time with uh, water, you wanna go through and close off the nozzle at the end of each section so that every nozzle shut off on the boom so we don't lose any winterizer um, when we go to pressurize up and check for leaks. Once you have the system all rinsed, it's a good idea to go ahead and pull your strainers again. Make sure that there wasn't anything extra to come out of them. It's not a bad idea if you wanna fill it again with water, go ahead and just flush straight water through everything again. Once that's done, make sure you drain all the water back out. We wanna open this manual valve here, as well as our front fill, open our sump valve up, let everything drain. And we're gonna go back just like we're gonna rinse the system. We're gonna hook our winterizer up to our fresh water tank, fill it with about 50 to 55 gallons of winterizer, and we're gonna run that rinse cycle again. And while that rinse cycle is running, we wanna come back down here to our eductor. You wanna make sure that you're putting a jug on there and using that jug rinse too to make sure you get that nozzle inside of there. Run these valves. We wanna cycle our high flow valve, our orifice valve, and our boom shutoff valve. So to run our eductor, we want to push our eductor on button. That will turn on our solution pump and ramp up the engine RPMs. We come down here, we can open this rinse valve so that we are getting all the chemical down off of the sidewalls of the eductor. Put our product in here. Once we have our product in there and solution is flowing, we open up this valve and it will take it back to the solution tank. Inside the eductor, there is this jug rinse valve so that you make sure you get all of your chemical out of your chemical jug. You can put it down on there and actually push down and it will shoot solution up to the inside of the jug to make sure it's cleaned out. We want to actuate each nozzle body until we see blue John Deere winterizer solution coming out. We have to do that to every nozzle body to ensure that every nozzle body is winterized and will not crack when it freezes. If you have an exact ply machine, you have this style of nozzle body. We prefer to have the front side of the nozzle body have a one, two, or a three turret facing the front of the boom so that you can make sure that you rinse the A valve and the B valve. Uh, also recommend pulling off caps if you have a carbon fiber boom because they'll have caps on them so that water doesn't get in to the nozzle body. Remove the nozzles. When you rinse, flush through both A and B through the display, set it to A and B and flush through both A and B valves. And then when you winterize, you want to run A only until you see blue winterizer come out and then switch it in the cab to B valve and then run your B valve only to make sure you have both valves winterized equally. If you have any questions about rinse out and winterization for your four series sprayer, please contact your local landmark dealer.